Well, she's known as Brie Vandekamp on Desperate Housewives, but this morning she's coming to us just as Marsha Cross. She joins us now to tell us more about the campaign Skin Cancer Takes Friends. Good morning, Marsha. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. No problem. Well, tell us, first of all, why is skin cancer prevention so important? Uh, well, for many reasons. Personally, for me, because I've had family members in the past diagnosed with skin cancer, so it has been something I've been aware of for a long time. And also, just uh, one person every hour dies from skin cancer, which is uh, just a remarkable statistic. I mean, I think it's a, a, a cancer that is sort of not taken seriously, and I'm here to help uh, talk about how you can prevent it, which is this incredible program that's sponsored by Olay with the American Society for Dermatologic Surgery. And the way it works is you go online to skincancertakesfriends.org and find a dermatologist in your area who's participating, and you and whichever friend you want to take can go and get a free skin cancer screening. All right, very nice. Now, should you still be as concerned if you don't have a family history of skin cancer? Absolutely. It's, um, gosh, uh, it, it doesn't really matter whether you're fair like I am. You can have dark skin. It's really an equal opportunity cancer. So um, you really need to take care of your skin, wear sunscreen, a hat or long sleeves in the hottest you know, hours of the day, and reapply often. And, and the, the best a uh, cure for this uh, disease is actually early detection and prevention. Right, and that's the good news about this cancer. Not only is mm -hmm. it preventable, it's curable. Well, it's curable if you it's, uh, catch it uh, very early. Um, but if you don't, it's actually a very deadly disease. And I think that's why people don't take it seriously. They think, they think it's so curable. But if you don't get it early, it can m metastasize very quickly. Um, and you've really got to work uh, hard on preventing it and early detection. All right. Sounds great. Thanks, Marsha. Well, tell us a little bit. Can you give us any inside tips on Desperate Housewives? Um, well, we're going to have kind of a fun and provocative finale this year. Um, some of it's been leaked to the press, so it's hard to know what to tell and not to tell. But uh, I think we're going to be um, going forward in time at the end of the show. So it'll be very interesting to see how these women's lives have changed after five years. Forward in time. All right, you're leaving us hanging on mm -hmm. that one. Thanks, Marcia. I am. Very nice speaking <laughs> with you. Thank you.